This is very important this morning because of the time change. Because there's not enough coffee in the world. Good morning. Yes, everybody's getting into this one. That's great. It is good to say good morning, especially when it's hard to say good morning. It is great to give thanks when it's not easy to give thanks. Do we have a special holiday for giving thanks? Mm -hmm. yeah. Only one? But there is a day that's called Thanksgiving Day, and sometimes it's Thanksgiving Sunday and Thanksgiving Monday. But are there any other days that are Thanksgiving days? Every day should be a Thanksgiving day. Somebody told that children's story properly. And we have other holidays on which we give thanks. Do we give thanks at Christmas? Yeah. We give thanks around Christmas. Do we give thanks on, um, on, on Easter? Do we give thanks on Good Friday? Yes. And in getting ready for Good Friday, and that's part of what we do over the season of Lent, in getting ready for recognizing that, what did Jesus come to do? Did he just come, come to walk around with a bunch of disciples? No. Did he come to just teach in the synagogues, kind of like what I do here? Is, is that what Jesus came to do? He did those things, but what did he come to do? He came to die for us. Why? Because we couldn't save ourselves from our sins. God needed to save us from our sins. They were that big. What sins are we talking about? Bad things that we have done. Not just the bad things we have done, but definitely the bad things that we do. There's also the things that we don't realize that we've done or haven't done. Those are sins too. What did Adam and Eve do that was so bad? And why was that bad? They were told, don't do that. And they did that. Kind of like Ben, don't run around in church. You should see the smile he's giving me right now. Because, no laughing matter, we sin and we continue to sin. We disobey God and we continue to disobey God and What's the result of disobeying God? What's the curse of sin, which is? Death. Death. When we're saved from our sins, what does that mean? We no, we don't. Our death is meaningless, really. It's just entering into eternal life if we are in Christ. Isn't that neat? Isn't that, is that worth celebrating? Is that worth giving thanks? And that's what we're here to do. We're here not just to learn a lesson. We're here not just to sing our hymns. We're here not just to run in church, Ben. We are here to learn to do what God wants us to do and to serve the will of God that we may have joy forever and ever. Let us pray. Forever and ever, O oh Lord, that's how long you're willing to love us. Lord, thank you for forgiving us of our sins. Thank you for sending your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, so that salvation will be complete and forever and ever. Lord, let us praise, glorify, and honor you in all we say and do, this in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen.